Welcome to Visionscape's Topography Tool Quick Start Tutorial. This video tutorial will give you a basic introduction to some of the tools that you'll find on the Topography tab. These tools will allow you to sculpt our 3D ground plane into natural terrain features, letting you recreate your original property, as well as make adjustments for landscape and hardscape projects. First, let's take a look at the Height Grid tool. The height grid allows you to draw a four-point polygonal shape, which generates a lattice grid over your property. The individual lattice points allow you to raise and lower sections of your terrain plane. You can control the number of lattice points from the Properties panel, as well as the base height and curvature of the lattice grid's terrain effect. Next up is the Slope tool. This tool allows you to draw a contour line that generates a slope off of either side, which you can control using a calculated angle. The controls can be locked on the rise and run axis, as well as the angle, allowing you to configure the height, distance, and grade separately. Next, we have the region tool. This tool allows you to draw a section of terrain using a closed shape that can be altered with a material overlay to recolor sections of the ground plane. You also have the option to alter the shape of the terrain contained within the region using the height and taper commands in the properties panel. The path grader tool is actually designed to be used in tandem with the path tool which can be found on the Landscape tab. The path grader can cut a level stripe of terrain through any other topography feature it encounters, except for the path tool. This allows you to cut even terrain to sloping features to create even walking paths. You can adjust the sculpting order through the right-click menu to force the path grader to ignore certain topography features when you raise or lower it. Finally, we have the Area Grader. The Area Grader allows you to draw a closed shape to create a region of terrain that can be leveled out to a specific elevation in a very similar way to the Path Grader. Using the Grade Strength control, the user can adjust how much influence the Area Grader has over the elevation of overlapping terrain. The Area Grader can also be influenced to ignore certain terrain features by using the Sculpting Order commands that are present in the right-click menu. We hope that this tutorial has given you a basic idea of what each of these topography tools is designed to do. You can mix and match these tools to great effect by using the Sculpting Order, letting you build properties fast and make quick edits on the fly. For more detailed information on each tool, check out our help documentation for tool-specific tutorials. Or, download a template design to see examples of topography tools being used in live projects.